Vertigo trigger alert. Caffeine. Ever woken up feeling like the world is spinning? Or maybe you've experienced that sudden disorienting sensation of dizziness? You're not alone. Millions of people suffer from vertigo, a condition that can be both frustrating and debilitating. Today, we're diving deep into a potential culprit that might be contributing to your vertigo symptoms. Caffeine. That's right. Your morning coffee or afternoon energy drink could be the hidden trigger you've been searching for. Caffeine and the body. Before we dive into the connection between caffeine and vertigo, let's quickly break down what caffeine actually does to your body. Caffeine is a stimulant that affects your central nervous system. It blocks the receptors for a neurotransmitter called adenosine which promotes sleepiness. By blocking these receptors, caffeine gives you that burst of energy. The structures of caffeine and adenosine are very similar, which means that caffeine can also bind to adenosine receptors. However, since adenosine and caffeine are not exactly the same, caffeine cannot activate those receptors. All it does is compete with adenosine for the receptors, making it more difficult for adenosine to activate those receptors to cause sleepiness. This is how caffeine makes you feel more alert, essentially by decreasing the sensitivity of your neurons to adenosine. Caffeine's effect only lasts for 2-4 to four hours though, depending on how fast your body breaks down caffeine, which is mainly determined by genetics. Once your body breaks down the caffeine, adenosine can once again bind easily to its receptors to cause sleepiness. If you ingest caffeine on a daily basis, you may have started with drinking one cup of coffee a day and eventually moved on to three or four a day to have the same feeling of alertness. This is known as caffeine tolerance and often happens to people who are chronic coffee drinkers. This may be due to your neurons synthesizing more adenosine receptors to compensate for the receptors blocked by caffeine. Therefore, more caffeine is needed to block those additional receptors. If a chronic caffeine user suddenly stops taking caffeine, since there are now so many adenosine receptors, the sleep-inducing effects of adenosine may intensify. Therefore, some users may experience withdrawal symptoms such as fatigue, drowsiness, difficulty concentrating, and irritability, the opposite of caffeine's effects. To avoid these unpleasant feelings, these people will continue to take caffeine. This results in a mild physical dependence on the drug, but not severe enough to be classified as a true addiction. While that extra pep in your step might be tempting, it's important to understand how this process can potentially impact your balance and inner ear. Caffeine and Vertigo Connection Now, Let's get to the heart of the matter, the potential link between caffeine and vertigo. While research is ongoing, there's growing evidence suggesting a correlation between excessive caffeine consumption and balance issues. Some studies have shown that caffeine can exacerbate the symptoms of vertigo by affecting the delicate balance of your inner ear. It's believed that caffeine might interfere with the normal function of the vestibular system which is responsible for your sense of balance. Additionally, Caffeine can also contribute to dehydration, which can further aggravate vertigo symptoms. Dehydration can thicken the blood and reduce blood flow to the inner ear, potentially leading to dizziness. Personal Stories
we've talked about the science. Now let's hear from real people who have experienced the impact of caffeine on their vertigo. These individuals have found relief by making simple changes to their caffeine intake. I used to be a coffee addict. I was drinking at least three cups a day. I started noticing that my vertigo was getting worse. After cutting back on caffeine, I've experienced a significant improvement in my balance and overall well-being. I struggled with vertigo for years and tried countless remedies. When I finally reduced my caffeine consumption, I started to notice a difference within a few weeks. It wasn't a miracle cure, but it definitely helped. These stories highlight the potential benefits of reducing caffeine intake for those dealing with vertigo. Remember, everyone is different. So it's essential to listen to your body and find what works best for you. Tips for reducing caffeine. So, you ready to cut back on caffeine? Great! Here are some practical tips to help you on your journey. Gradual reduction. Don't go cold turkey. Gradually decrease your caffeine intake to minimize withdrawal symptoms like headaches or fatigue. Alternative beverages. Explore delicious caffeine-free options like herbal teas or sparkling water with a splash of fruit juice. Mindful consumption. Pay attention to how caffeine makes you feel. If you notice it's exacerbating your vertigo, consider cutting back further. Healthy habits. Combine caffeine reduction with other healthy lifestyle changes like regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. Remember, it takes time to adjust to lower caffeine levels. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress. Have you experienced vertigo and noticed a connection to caffeine? Share your story in the comments below. Your insights can help others on the journey to relief. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more vertigo tips and advice. Together, we can conquer dizziness and regain control of our lives. Thanks for watching.